I mean, I hope you'll find a sponsor, and I'm sure you will because, you know, you're the hottest man in the 212 right now and with Derek, so why shouldn't you get a sponsor? You know, it's just a matter of the right company, you know, seeing seeing and hearing about this, which I hope the companies all here. So companies, Sean Clarita is a free agent. So if you look for someone um, to sponsor, this is the man right there, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, every every damn person in the top 10 should have a supplement co- contract, you know? And, and, and it doesn't matter. Some people get more, some people get less. But, you know, as a professional athlete, I think there's certain things that we just just have. You know, and it's yeah. sad to see that some of these companies now, they go away from bodybuilding and then they just find these guys that have followers on YouTube and pay them a crazy amount of money so they can get to their followers. It's ridiculous, you know. It's not the same anymore, right? Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. So, but other than, other than that, like I said, I know you're going to find a sponsor, man, I'm sure. I want to I want to talk to you about, you know, how did you how did you manage to uh keep a clear head? How no, how let me ask you this. How was it for you to go to the Olympia, the last Olympia? And I know you were confident because you looked great. There was no reason for you not to be confident. But yeah. at what point of the show did you see or did you think say, "Oh, maybe, maybe I got a problem here?" If you if you if you ever thought about it at all. Honestly, I didn't think about it at all until they called his name. I called me a second, to be honest with you. Oh, so you thought you was going to win? I read that. I was confident yeah. what I was bringing. Um, I didn't look at pictures or videos after prejudging. I need to kind of keep my head, my head clear. Um, but I was confident what we were bringing. I was better. I was improved. And I know, you know, they say you have to knock out the champ. I don't believe I was knocked out. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I really thought I had it. And when I, I called a second, that's what it was like, well, damn, you know. Guess it's uh, not my year. So, so, so let's say after prejudging, you and your coach Matt, you guys were in the room and you, you know everything was cool. No, mm-hmm. no, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. listen, it was down to the wire. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day. So, so yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to know. I said, how did he feel? And then, okay, so now you're standing there. They got you both, both, both of you guys in in, in the center, and uh, Bob calls and knew. What was the first thought that popped into your mind, man? Uh, I'm just disappointed. You know, I was hurt. You know, it's just no. That's why I'm asking because I know everybody has yeah. feelings. It would have pissed me off. You yeah, know? I was hurt. I was disappointed. You know, but at the same time, I was happy for him. Um, I know this is something he's been working for for a long time. But mm-hmm. you know, like I'm, 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 I hate to lose. You know, we all hate to lose, right? Did you? Did you? Did you ever? Did that ever cross your mind that when you prepare for the Olympia, and knowing that you know there's guys after you now, who did who did you think was the biggest threat to you? Was it Derek, or did you think Derek wouldn't beat you? Um, honestly, my biggest threat, I think, was Kamal, just because Kamal. he was a previous, a previous champion. Hmm. And like I've told you before, he knows how to win. He's been in that position before. Um, but again, anyone in that top, you know, anyone in that Olympia is someone to look out for. But in my eyes, Kamal was the guy who I was thinking about. Um, like, okay, Kamal is going to be, you know, be improved, come back for next year, try to get his title back. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I trained to beat everyone, right. you know, everyone in that lineup. And I thought I did that. I, I know I did that. I'm not going to say I thought. I know I did that. Um, but again, you know, just Derek was improved, um, and my hats off to him and his coach for what they were able to produce. Right. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it coming. I think, I think a lot of us didn't see that coming. No, I thought, <laughs> you know? I, I thought he was, you know, I, I always, the, the leading up to the show, I said, if he can make weight, yeah, he's going to be good because he looked good. I mean, even at the heavier weight, he was looking good. So I said, if he can yeah. make weight, I wasn't sure if he's going to be able to make weight. So he's, well, I was the thing, though, Derek, you know, we all see Derek get, you know, Three, four, five weeks out, it looks like you know it's two thirty full arms, and then he dies down, and he just suffers, losing a lot of muscle. Right. Um, but obviously, having Honey this year, we were all like, you know, waiting to see what the new look was going to look like, and obviously, it worked. So. Yeah, so, and and you know what, Kamal was improved too. Yeah, absolutely, man. He, he managed he to get better Kamal. again, you know, and it, I he, feel he gets I, better every year. Yeah, and he's fifty years old, man. That's unbelievable. <laughs> so crazy, man. Unbelievable. So. So now you walk away with the second place. So something in your, I don't know, who decided for you to say, let's go, I'm going to go and do the Open at the Legion? Who's the, that was Myself. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I knew that. So you I were mean, that had, mad I, that you're going to have to prove yourself there. That's why, you I know would, what? I'm going to call it, you Champ it, Champ now because you're the Champ <laughs> Champ, you know? <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't a decision made up of anger. It was because I always said, like I told you, I want to do an Open show one day. But it has to be the right show in the right time. And I had saw pride to Olympia that Chris was having the show. 
right after the Olympia. And I was going to be there anyway as with my sponsor, Wolfpack. Mm -hmm. So I was going to be there working the booth the whole entire weekend. So that was planned months ago. But then when I took second that night, literally to myself, I said, I'm, I'm going to go to Legion. I'm going to compete. I'm going to jump into the open show. It's the perfect timing. I have nothing to lose. So then I talked the next morning with my girlfriend and Matt. And I said, what do you guys think? I'm thinking I want to do the Legion. Like, well, you know, I have nothing to lose. Why not? And uh, they were more so concerned about how I felt mentally and physically. And uh, they said, what, what would you be happy with? I'm like, you know, being that first call out is a big deal. You know, I'm a 212 competitor, you know, one of the lightest guys in the division going to the open. If I can get into the top five in an open show, that'd be great. And they agreed, let's do it. And uh, Matt and I talked a little bit more strategically. Like, do we want to play a size game, try to fill out, or bring what I'm known for my conditioning, just stay sharp. And I said, let's just, let's just bring a condition. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. And uh, we went into that show four pounds light at the Olympia. I was, I believe, much tighter, much more conditioned than I was at the Olympia. And then yes. obviously we pulled out the win. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm thinking, like, look at the balls this guy has to go into this show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Knowing this guy is like, Sergio Oliva, Cedric yeah. McMillan. I mean, size guys that you can size wise. There's no possible way. Yeah, and, yeah. And that comes, you know, and you just proved again that size is not everything, you know. And the crazy part is, like, I actually think about it now. Looking at the show leading up to the Legion, I was seeing posts. What Sergio had posted, Stanimo had posted. He was doing the show. I think Cedric had posted. He was doing the show. Again, I wasn't afraid. I'm not afraid of anybody. But did Open you think, but let me ask you this before you continue. Did you think you're going to go there to win, or did you think I just want to place well? Uh, I just want to know. I, I, think I, I honestly believe I could be in the top five. That was my, that was so, my thought. Okay, so you didn't go there and say, I'm going to win this show. You thought I'm going to play top five and prove, prove a point, which Absolutely. you did, <laughs> which you did, Absolutely. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I said, that if I can get into that top five first call out, I mean, that's a big deal, you yeah. know? And then tell me, how, what, what does it feel like, you know, getting in the, not only in the first call up, but standing in the middle? Oh, man, it was, you know, it was very emotional. When I got backstage, I was just like, I can't believe this. Like, I'm not just in the first call out. I'm not in the top, I'm in the top three battling with Sergio Regan, you know, you know, two guys who've been on Olympia stage, Arnold stage. Uh, it was just a crazy feeling, man. I, it was literally, a, I, I was, I was on a cloud die. But I, I knew that it was a battle, and I knew that I had a conditioning in my in my in my corner. Right. So then, when I got back to the room, I was like, "We got to come in sharp with for the night show and steal the deal." Um, so I think I got back to the room. I think I ate maybe like a really small meal, and I just relaxed. I slept, I tried to keep up my feet, not think about anything, and went right back to the night show. And I believe, you know, again, I think the conditioning is what carried me over. It definitely was the size. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, it, 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 you have all the size in the world on your to body. To my height, yes, you yes. Know, pound for pound, you're probably the biggest guy on that stage. Yeah, height, you know, height to weight, yeah, absolutely. Yes, so, I mean, <laughs> from, I was watching the show, and I remember I was like, Look at Sean getting there kicking ass. You know what I'm saying? I was literally saying, look, he's at there yeah. kicking ass. You know, it, you know, people were still a little confused between uh, prejudging and the finals. Is he going to mm -hmm. win? Are they going to give it to him? That's yeah. You know, and exactly. and and, and uh, tell me this: how what what what's the difference winning the Olympia? How did it feel winning the Olympia compared to winning the Legion in the Ooh, Open? Damn, bro. Yeah, honestly, I, I winning the Olympia especially, but when I that second place, I kind of forgot about it. After yeah. the Legion, I won that. I was like, I don't even care what happened with the, at the Olympia. Like, right. this is it. Like, so, I wanted to end my season on a high note, and that was the high note I needed going into next year. I mean, I mean, everybody saw it in your face. Hold on, my phone is ringing. And, uh, you know, then, you know, after winning the Open, which means you qualify for the Olympia next year in the Open. Yeah, I mean, you qualified for life in the two twelve, but you also qualified for the for the open. Now, I'm not sure if this is just rumors that I heard, but did you somehow voice that you want to do both, or is that just I somebody put, else? I had put it out my poll. I had put a, 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 a caption or a post showing that I was qualified for both, and I would love the opportunity to do both. Uh, but it wasn't like, hey, I have to do both. I know that Hadi did the same thing, and he had. I think he had to choose as well. Um, I'm not sure if he had to choose or they made him choose. I wasn't sure. Mm, I, no, I think uh, I think Hani decided for him to do the opener, not the 212. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know if the Olympia made him choose. So that's why I put the post out, like, kind of like getting an opinion on people. Hey, what do you guys think? Kind of make it, make it fun, having some fun with everything. Like, I'm qualified with both. Yeah. What do you guys need to see me? Even though I know in my heart possibly where I want to go, um, I, I would love to do both. 
you know, I'm not sure if it's an if it's an option, if it's on the table, if we're allowed to do both. It's a conversation you have to have with obviously the Mannions, maybe Dan, Dan Solomon. I don't know if there's a rule. Uh, I know David Henry did it back in the day. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm gonna grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. No, but- 2000, he did in 2008 when he won the Olympia, the 202. I believe he placed top 10 in the Open that same year. Are you sure? I believe so. Yeah. I know David Henry did both at one point in time for sure. Yeah, he, he went back and forth. I know that. He competed yeah. back and forth because it was back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't think it's, I don't know because, I don't know. I can't even think back too far. I'm too old. But uh, I think if you wanted, if they said you would, you could, you know, it would be oh, the man. timing because, you know, you have the finals Friday night and mm -hmm. then you would have done the, have to finish the finals and then run right backstage to go back to do the, uh, the, the pre-judging for, the, uh, for yep. the guys. Dude, I would love it. I would absolutely, yeah. that, would, that would make my day, my life, my career. I'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it kind of would be. And, and, and let's be real, you, you, you'll be honest with me. I think that would be great for marketing. For the Olympia, them, you know, selling more pay-per-view, people want to see it. I think it'd be awesome. It hasn't been done in like a long time, if ever. Yeah. Was it shut down by anybody, or did you get an answer? Uh no. Someone, I, had, I think someone has said, well, Dan Solomon said no because Hottie had to choose. Which again, I didn't. I don't believe it was Hottie choosing or Dan Solomon making him choose. I have to talk to Tyler and Emmanuel to see what they think, um, and maybe Jake Wood and get his opinion. He's obviously the owner. I mean, I think it'll be great for the for the ISB, So did you for did you talk to to Tyler or, or, or anybody? No, I haven't talked to him yet. Okay. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to the Nationals uh, next month, and I, he'll be there. Obviously, I would love to talk to him there. I'm trying. I'm just trying to, you know, imagine you in the open. <laughs> I mean, ugh. so you're standing next to guys that got you by like a hundred, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty pounds. I mean, I just did it at the, uh, the Legion. Same thing. I know. Thing. Yeah, I, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it it's you know what. what <laughs> I think Flex Lewis also qualified for the Open one year. Yeah. And and but didn't do the Open. I think he qualified somewhere in Europe to do when he did okay. that show. Yeah. Well, I, I, it'd be fun, man. Like because again, nothing, nothing, like no expectations. You know, I'm going out there to have fun. Dude, no expectations. You know, I have to lose. Come on, no expectations. You just oh, well, won people, an open show. People are thinking, like for them, for me, I know where I want to be. What what, what 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 would have been your goal? You're gonna hate me saying this. Uh, no, why? Why? I, you, you just tell me. You just tell people what you feel. I honestly think I'd be in the top ten, no question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would at least guess you think top ten. Come on, why you want to be somewhere? I believe I'd be in the top ten. Which again, for that is a huge, a huge, a huge win for me. But then from there, it's just going up from there. Right, right. Well, okay. So, I mean, isn't Jake Wood right there with you guys? I mean, no, he's not. He's not here today. I don't know. I think uh, they're still traveling back from Romania. I think. Oh, that's right. That's right. But uh, that, I think that's something that you need to talk to Tyler about. So just to find yeah, out if the, if the federation is okay with somebody crossing over at the same weekend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's why I said Tyler is probably the guy to talk to. You know, the I think the, I think the world would love to see it. I mean, I would like to see it. You know, why not? You know, why not? Absolutely, why not? You know, to see. I, I may I may shoot him a message after the, after we talk. Just kind of you know get on, get on a phone call with him today, but maybe even today just instead of waiting till next month. Uh, just talk to him and see what he thinks. Are you planning on doing any other open shows just for fun? Uh, before the Olympia? Maybe. No, not before. So nothing. So now you're going to shut it down and you're not going to go back on stage until the Olympia next year? Correct. Okay, so now tell me, tell me what you're doing at the moment. So the Olympia is done. The Legion is done. Now you said you shut it down. What's the goal? What's, what's happening with Sean Clarita the next couple of months? Let's say so before, home, before New Year. I'm kind of resting, relaxing, spending some more time with my girlfriend, my family. Uh, we're actually looking at moving in a couple of months to Florida. So we'll go to Florida next week, look at places, houses. Why is everybody moving to Florida? State tax? Oh, I don't know why everybody else is moving. I've always loved Florida. And oh, the really? weather is so much better than Jersey for me. Like, you're in Arizona. The weather's perfect. Same thing. I can't deal with this Jersey weather, man. It's freezing right now inside. Yeah. So, so what I'm, part, I'm what, what part of Florida are you thinking? 
We're looking at uh, what's that area like? Fishhawk. I think that's like what uh, West Coast area, more west. A little uh, more quiet. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's down there for you? What that that makes you move want to move to Florida? I just love the weather. Yeah. Every time I go down there, I don't want to leave, man. Like really. We, we just enjoy the weather. We enjoy, you know, just being able to go out with no problem, not have to worry about anything. Uh, I just love Florida. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I've been to many places, and there's no place that every time I go to, I don't want to leave. So when are you planning on doing that? So we're going down next weekend to look at houses. Oh, and, okay. uh, so you serious? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're serious. Um, and we're going to – I'm looking to move in for the next two or three months. Hey. Shit. New, new house, a new, new place, new motivation, huh? Yeah, yeah. And we want to do it now before I start prep. So, okay, so, I, you know, so get but, settled. But are you training now? What, what, what's going on with the with the workouts? Yeah, I'm training. Uh, I'm not 100% yet. I'm still kind of, I after every show, you know, I was working with John Meadows, obviously. He likes to have me do a four-week kind of, like, deload where I still train but don't push 100%. Um, so I've got another week or two on that program, and then I'll start kicking things up, mm -hmm. uh, really increasing the food, increasing the training again to five days and really start uh, targeting next year's Olympia. Yeah. So how much time do you give yourself to get ready for the Olympia? Prep. Uh, I like, well, 20, you say, I like 20 weeks. 20 weeks for me. 20 weeks for the diet? Yeah, 20 weeks always works best for me. Yeah. What's the goal? Slow what's, and steady. What's the, what's I can eat into the show. Because mm. obviously I don't have to make weight, but I like to take my time with it. don't have to kill myself in the beginning or toward the end. And, um, you know, we get to a point where we start having to feed myself a little bit more food, but then it keeps me a lot fuller and a lot stronger going into the actual show. How heavy do you get in off-season? Oh, how heavy the are you planning on getting this time? <laughs> Last year for Olympia, I got up to 204. Uh, this year, I would like to get to around 215, 220. So, so the goal is to put on more mass? Yeah, absolutely. In what areas? Uh, chest, uh, the hamstrings, and some more back, for sure. Some more back. <laughs> Always more back. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you got some back left over, man, you throw it my way. <laughs> so so what so what are you doing and what are you doing in order to to improve you say especially the chest now and 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 the, the hamstrings what 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 special exercises are you choosing to make a difference or are you just doing the same thing and just keep you know just being consistent uh just more frequency so we're training chest twice a week mm -hmm. and i'm training in my hamstrings three times a week um when i say three times a week i'm not literally having a three hamstring days so on my back days i'll throw in one hamstring movement at the end for four or five sets uh, on my main quad day, I always start start and finish with hamstrings, and then have a separate day just for hamstrings and glutes. Did you say start and finish with hamstrings? Always. So when you so your leg, your quad day, you you start with hams. How many so exercises? I go, I go in there, do my adductors. I do calf raise, calves, whether you're standing or donkey, and I do uh, leg curls, seated leg curls, uh -huh. and then I go into my main quad movements, and I usually finish with a stiff leg variation. Okay, so you so you just do one quad exercise. No, I do three to four. Okay, so what, I always start. Okay, with, so have, break it down for me because this is interesting. I think listeners want to hear that. So when you do okay. your regular, when you do your quads, you yes. do hamstrings along with your quads. So you start with the hamstrings, one exercise. Yeah, so this is, I walk into the gym. I go right to calves first. Calves, so three yeah. Three or four heavy sets there. Then I go to adductors. So I'm still trying to bring out my adductors as well. Uh, from there, I go right to a seated leg curl. I do two warm-ups two feeder sets, and then two all-out hard heavy sets. Okay. Anywhere from eight to 10 reps. From there, I go, I start my quad movements, usually um, Smith machine squats, hack squats, leg press, uh, lunges, and that's pretty much what I usually do for the most part. Mm -hmm. And then I always, since my quads are so pumped, I like to go in and kind of finish off my uh, legs with some hamstring RDLs. And then I keep it again, usually a one warm up second, already warmed up from obviously training. And then two to three all-out heavy sets, anywhere from ten to twelve reps. So how long does it take, when time-wise, to finish all uh, that? Man, I could be there sometimes two, two and a half hours. Yeah. So I was just thinking it's going to take some time. So it's like more yeah. like old school, where people are in the gym for hours and and you know and, oh, yeah. and get the work done. For legs, especially. I mean, I, you can get away with you know for maybe an hour, fifteen, hour thirty with chest or something like that. But for legs and for back, for me at least, I'm in there for for a while. How many back exercises do you do? I like anywhere from five to six, personally. What's your favorite back exercise? Uh, T-bar rows. T-bar rows? T-bar rows. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it puts the most thickness on, the most muscle. That's what I, I mean. I did that every single week last year leading to Olympia. 
uh, just heavy, heavy T bar rows. Yeah. My back so, so that, spine. so that's one of the exercises that you do with each back workout. It doesn't matter. Every, yeah. Unless heavy my back. lower back's giving me a little bit of issues that week, I always T bar row. Yeah. Yeah. I always said T bar rows is the bread and butter. T bar and barbell rows. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I can't barbell row, unfortunately, and that's crazy. I mean, it's not, I have two herniations in my lower back. Ouch. So I suffered that in 2007 doing stiff legs. Um, so I can't do barbell rows. I can't do at all. On the floor at all. Not Unless even like not, not even assisted weight. with a bench or something. Yeah, I can do that. But regular free weight barbell, like the bars in front of me, I can't do them heavy at least. See, so people see, people listeners don't understand that you know people you know you you display. Uh, perfect physique on stage, mm-hmm. but there's mm-hmm. a lot of exercises that people can't even do because of injuries. You know, yeah, people don't, I don't understand. Dead, I don't deadlift up the floor. People don't ever see that because I don't do them. Um, I don't barbell row. I mean, there's a ton of things I just can't do just, just due to injury. But yeah. obviously, I, I, I'm i smart enough to know not to do that. There's other exercises that I can do. Yeah. So instead of doing de- deadlift on the floor, I can do rack pulls. I can do um, regular, uh, what do you call hyper extensions, weighted. Mm-hmm. And I can still target that same area with no issues. Yeah, yeah. Most it's good to hear because people think you know, ah, you know, you get into the back like that. You got to do those kind of things, and you know, and sometimes yeah. there's there's ways around it. You know, you got to make it happen. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. So and 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 you mentioned John Meadows, who is rest in peace, of course, was a coach yeah. and a mentor when it comes to training for you. So Absolutely. now you see what's going on, and uh, we lost another very important person, Sean Rowland. Rest in peace. You know yeah. what, what? What does what does that I mean, I can only tell you what I feel when, when this happens, you know, but you are still active as a competitor, you know. What what, what does that yeah. do to your mind and to your, I mean, when, when you, you know, what do, what do you think? How do you can, you know, take care of yourself and to, you know, precautions to make sure that maybe something like this won't happen to you? I mean, you, I mean, we all, I think I'm sure we're all scared about it and think about it. It's, it's, it's a scary time, you know, but, you know, for me personally, I, I know that I take care of my body. I get the checkups done when I need to. I get the blood work done. I take all the health stuff. So when you do possible. when you do blood work, what what are you looking for? Everything. My my creatinine, my bun, I mean just my liver, kidney, the enzymes, everything. Yeah. Have you ever I, had I, have you ever had blood works where you, some of the things were off? Yeah, of course. And of course. So what what's most what's what you know, I'm glad you mentioned that. So what's mostly what did you realize is mostly that that, that goes off in certain times of year? It was a creatine for me, man. For some reason, that creatine is always so high. How high but does it go? That. How high does it go? Oof. What is it? What's the, what's the, what's the highest? Is what, 15, I think it is? Well, it usually, like usually yeah. it's, it depends on every lab is a little different. It's like 0.2 yeah. to 1.3 or 1.5, depending on what labs. Lab Corp, uh, Lab Quest yeah, is 1.5. Lab Quest is 1.5. So how high was so it? So if, if the highest is 1.5, mom is like... Maybe like one, one and a quarter, you know, and then you gotta have to like. I mean, I mean that's that. I, so I, mean, you mean it's still in range? Too. Look, I was high. I was, I was like that. You know how to give you that that normal and then that red. I know, but 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 let, that's why I'm asking. This. So when it says you know, it says the range is from zero point two to one point five. How high was yours? Oh, a little bit. Of, oh, mine was definitely higher than one point five. So yeah, I but was, yeah, 1.51, 1.6, 1.9. Oh, 1.7, 1.8. Okay, so okay. yeah, so d- that tells you that you have to watch certain things. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, but it was never, it was never something that it was concerning. Like you know, God forbid something to happen. We were never like, can we always control that? We can fix those yeah. issues. Yeah. So, so what do you do? This is for listeners because there's a lot of people, and you know, there's a lot of people that use 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 gear and don't mm-hmm. get checked because they're scared. They don't want to know. Of course. You know, so so when something like this happens, so now, what would you do? I mean, obviously, talk to my coach first and foremost, and we'll, we we won't we won't play anything, we won't do anything until we clean everything out. Uh, I know, but do- but what, what what I'm asking is, so what do you do yeah. in order to bring it back down? That's what I wanted to know. Yeah, all the health supplements that I need to bring it back down. Uh, I know certain foods obviously have play a role in that, so we'll cut back on certain foods. Like the protein, things like that, just kind of. So you bring cut back, back on the protein for for a while. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah, and the meat, and like, then it, and it, it'll, it'll go down. Yeah, because that's what we're, we're pounding food to, you know, obviously for the whole entire time. You know, instead of doing seven, eight ounces of protein, we're bringing down to four ounces, maybe increase the carbs, maybe increase the fats. Uh, but then it, within that time frame, things come back down at the same time. I'm not putting anything in to increase it anymore, obviously. Yeah. 
so we do clean up have a clean out phase for sure right so you wait till everything's back to normal yeah how about absolutely. the how about the liver enzymes the liver enzymes they go up in in, in certain times no that, 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 that's too crazy no yeah luckily no i mean my, my doctor's very like she's very surprised that i do what i do and she's happy with my numbers so it's, it's nothing's too crazy so she must or he or she she probably must know she. bodybuilding because yeah. If the doctor doesn't know bodybuilding and he see those numbers, he's like, wait a minute, you know, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're in a risk factor here. Yeah, I've, I've had those doctors before. And yeah. it's like, you, you, just, you just can't work with them. So you have to find someone who understands and isn't going to try to, you know, school you on certain things. So the doctor I go to, she's very cool. Um, she understands what I do. This is my profession. Um, so she makes sure I do my heart's in check, the liver, kidneys, everything. Uh, she runs all the numbers, checks everything, nothing, and she lets to let me know something's bad. Mm -hmm. Like, she's showing, we have an issue here. But for the most part, she's on board everything. Awesome. She's good. Awesome. That's good to yeah. know. Good to know. So you, so how, how long do you come off after the Olympia? Uh, well, I would say, like, for me personally, uh, eight weeks. Eight weeks. Yeah. 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 Well, eight weeks is, 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 is enough to clean the system out, you know? You know, but yeah. now since the Olympia is not till December, is that are you going to extend Especially, that a little bit? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I, I don't have to, I don't have to rush and qualify. I'm already qualified, obviously. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of guys will be starting to prep soon. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, listen, this I always tell people: there's life after bodybuilding. Some people forget Absolutely. that. Some people forget that they would for a trophy, they would literally sign a contract says that says you cut ten years of your life. <laughs> just to place top six at the Olympia. Oh, you know, this, the, I, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I talk to a few people and, and sometimes I'm like, you know, because there's life after bodybuilding and people people forget Absolutely. that sometimes. And it's sad that, you know, we see what happened, you know, and, and, and I'm not saying that that uh, it's not only Sean Roden. I mean, there's so many in the last couple of months. I mean, you know, Jennifer, no. remember Jennifer? Jennifer, passed, George, John, yeah, George yeah. Peterson, man, and and th is there any any news or any info about the uh, the um, 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 Victor Richards? No, for George Peterson, uh, um, the um, autopsy. <laughs> yeah, the aut autopsy. I can't think of it. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you're old, bro. Trust me. <laughs> Are there, is there any uh, autopsy results or any, nothing's released? I haven't seen anything. I don't know. I don't know. If so no one really that, knows what, what happened. I don't think I've ever like seen an actual autopsy of any of these bodybuilders. Oh no, yeah, we saw Dallas McCarver. Well, yeah, but it's only you, you, one, it's, but it's usually public. It's usually isn't it public record? I don't know. I think it is. You know, and 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 you know, yeah, you usually don't see them because you usually don't care. But yeah, uh, yeah, you exactly. know, but when there's a person that you want to know, because at the end of the day, if you die young, and you know, forty six is young. George Peterson was thirty. What thirty eight? 36, that's, 36, yeah. That's young. You don't just die and people say, okay, let's bury him. No, they want to find out why he died because, you know, yeah, they want to know if there's Especially foul family. play or anything else. So that's why I was wondering if there is any info because I'm really, really interested to see on what the reason was for him just going yeah. to sleep and not waking up. Especially especially, um, especially George, man, because that was, that was crazy. I mean, that, that literally hit us, what, two days out from the show? Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing is, my funny thing. What am I saying? Yeah. The, the thing is that he t he posted a video. Was it a video or a picture? The night the night off at midnight somewhere, sitting somewhere eating pancakes or something. Oh, his face was sucking in the time. Yeah, but he was eating pancakes, so he was actually. I think he was doing all right until he went to sleep. So who who knows? That's why I was wondering. I said I would like to know what it was, but I know, you know for a fact that um. You know, uh, you know, bodybuilding is not <laughs> the healthiest sport in the world. You know, yeah, obviously not, and, and that's why I'm glad you're doing what you're doing with your, with your checks. And I hope everybody else and the people that I'm talking to right now are the ones that are scared to go. I just tell you guys, listen, don't be scared, because at the end yeah. of the day, if you feel something is wrong, there's a good chance that it might be too late to fix something it. Wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Get it ticked because, you know, and this is like the same with cars. If you buy a new car, you can't drive that car for the next 20 years without getting a check. You got to do a service because then you see yeah, right. things and you can prevent stuff from going to the point where you can't fix it no more. You diet down, train hard, and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan.
number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro 10. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And I think it's sometimes it's a wake-up call. You know, certain things is a wake-up call. It's just sad to see that it's people around us because that makes me feel even worse because I'm like, what is happening? You know, I mean... Who's, I mean, I was I was just with Sean. Like, we were laughing, joking at the at the Legion show. And, yeah. I mean, he seemed fine, obviously. And, you know, and and then obviously we get the news. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, Florida. So I mean, <laughs> you're gonna be a Florida boy. So did you do you, when you when you think about moving somewhere? Do you already? check for the gyms what gym you're going to be working out at oh yeah for sure for sure so you already <laughs> did all you did your research i've been researching the, the gyms uh the supermarkets the whole nine yards oh really yeah of so you, so this is this is a done deal you're basically just going to find a house yeah we, uh, we want to the, the biggest thing for us was uh we're eventually looking to have kids so the school system was important okay uh, same so thing that was for big, me yeah. that was a big deciding factor of what city we were looking to move into right for sure so you moving to stay? You're not moving to, to maybe in the possibly in the future. Tra- nah, you know, I'm, not, I'm not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll come back to visit, but that's about it. That's it. I, I was I wanted to go to Florida too at one point. That was actually the plan. And I went to Florida, and I have a, a an aunt in Florida who's a who's a realtor. She has you know real estate, and she showed us uh, a couple of houses. Nice. And um, you know, and then I found the one that I liked. It was Pinbrook Pines. Okay. I, I yeah. think that's the area where uh, Vince Taylor lives. You know, it's, it's yeah. close to basically everything. It's not far from Miami. And um, so we looked at the house. It was beautiful. You know, it was a good price. It was 400000 back then, but it was a nice house. Yeah, man. So, and I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'll take this. I said, I want it. And then uh, my aunt was talking about, you know, you know, generators. You know, we should get, maybe get a generator for uh, the hurricanes. <laughs> my wife's like... What is a hurry? What is a hurricane? <laughs> so oh, yeah. I was like, a hurricane is a bad storm. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and then and then of course my aunt, you know, explained it to her. Now she said, what about what what would I do if you travel and there's a hurricane? I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Because I'm obviously not there. So she was so scared that she said, No, I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So and that's when I came to uh, to Phoenix. Because I knew Troy back then, and Troy said, cool, to have, have a look at Arizona. So I came over here, you know, yeah. looked at the area, found a nice, find, no, I didn't find a nice house. I found a house to rent because I, didn't, I wasn't sure, so I wanted to rent the place mm-hmm. first. Yep. So we rented the place for six months, and while I was in that house, I found a house that I liked. And then since then, I've been there 15 years. Yeah, That's man. how I came to I mean, Arizona. I love the warm, the warm climate, man. Like Vegas, it's part, certain parts of Vegas are nice. Arizona is real nice. Florida, I just love it. That's I like just... Florida. I mean, I like Arizona for the weather, number one, of course. Then mm-hmm. it's very convenient. You don't have this yeah. traffic, crazy traffic. It's just not, it's just not, you can't compare this with any other state when it comes to traffic. Here, the rush hour is probably like when there's nothing going on in California. Hmm. You can yeah, when think... I was there, it wasn't bad, actually. I'm thinking yeah, about it now. It I don't think, bad. I have not been stuck in a traffic jam once other you know unless it was an accident yeah of course and there was an accident on the freeway other than that i was never standing on the freeway it's all i'm always moving you know so that that's what i like about arizona and it's got a you know nice airport easy to get around you know so florida yeah. i like florida too and i'm sure i find a lot of nice places there but the, the humidity is what gets me see i don't i don't it is a it is a phase it doesn't bother me I don't well because you're probably used to it because you're in new jersey yeah, I, I, it didn't bother me, man. I yeah. Mean, it didn't bother me while I was living in Thailand because the humidity there was terrible. I mean, yeah. literally, I had if I want to go in a car, I would have to, before, I'd be, you know, I'd take a shower, i go out, I'd still have my towel around, i start the car in the air condition, and i go in yeah. and i put my clothes on so when I get in the car so I don't sweat and sweat all through my clothes until the air condition it's, kicks in. Uh, yeah, no. It was crazy. Well, I, don't, I don't leave my house. That's, that's a plus for me. You don't, you don't leave your house? <laughs> Just gym? I don't leave my house. Just to go to the gym, what do you, supermarket, that's about it. What do, what do, you, what do you do for, what, what's your hobby? Do you have any hobbies? I mean, I, I just like to rest, man. I don't like to go out. I watch movies. So you're just a lazy bodybuilder uh, like I was. Yeah, man. I mean, what, why do I have to go out? For what? <laughs> just, it's, it's, but some people have I hobbies. Have they go meals. fishing. They go do other stuff. There's nothing that's for you. It's just bodybuilding and that's it. That's it, man. Do you I think? Tried, it, I, tried, I tried bowling one time. I got hurt. Uh, me too. I got hurt. I tried bowling one time I and tore my, my ass. 
I hurt my lat. I'm like, never again. This is it. This is why I don't go out. I to- I had a micro tear in my butt. Bowling. <laughs> that was me bowling. Yeah. So, but people you know, think we're joking. They think we're joking. I said I can't do anything outside of bodybuilding. Yeah, it's true. But what do you think? If you think now, and like you know, how old are you now, Sean? Thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Well, let me know if you find out how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Yeah. So thirty-eight yeah. or thirty-nine? Thirty-nine, whatever. 39. So, how much longer do you think you're going to be doing this? Do you already planning? You know, you make. You know, you you you, you, you put together a plan B, like an exit plan for after bodybuilding. Are you, you know, thinking you know about stuff? Plan, you know, I don't do plan Bs, right? <laughs> huh? You know, I don't have a plan. You know, you know, I don't do a, t- a plan B. There's you don't. No you don't have a plan. B. You don't. You don't work on a plan B. You know, that's you well. Know, that's my logo. My, my my saying. No plan B. If you ever see my shirts, I don't. That's my that's my saying. Oh, no okay, plan B. okay, got you. So but that's 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 for bodybuilding. But no, um, yeah, I'm realistic that you know bodybuilding is gonna be forever. Um, so now we're starting to kind of uh, focus more on that. So we do have some business ventures that we're gonna be looking into the next year or two. Uh, obviously in Florida now that we're move, making that move. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, as far how long do I want to do this, man? I'm not. I don't have a number. I don't have a set date. I just want to keep going so I feel good and 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 you know, as long as I'm healthy, things are still you know improving. You know, I want to go until I I can't go anymore. Yeah. I mean, I look at Dexter as as the anomaly. You know, he did it to what fifty. You know, yeah. if I do to do it to fifty, great. You know, as long as I'm still healthy and I'm, I'm here for my family and things are looking good and we're uh, you know financially in a good spot, why not? Yeah. Yeah, could you, see, could you ever see yourself run, uh, self, uh, uh, running the gym? Yeah. So that's the plan. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> just, possibly just a facility where you know personal trainers can train their clients. Like who? who you been talking to my guy or something? <laughs> no, because you know that's the, that, that's something I've been thinking about too. Because you know you don't want to run yeah. a commercial gym. That's too much headache. Yeah, no, we're, we are, that's, that's actually what we're He said, he said you're right talking now. to my guy. <laughs> you're talking to my guy? Like, did he tell you something? <laughs> no, I'm just, you know, smart people should make smart decisions. And, you know, if you tell me, if you ask me what's a smart decision when it comes to gyms, the yeah. only smart decision would be to put a facility together. It doesn't have to be huge because you can't nope. compete with those corporate gyms no. with, the, with the $9 a month prices. Put a gym together that has everything you need and hire and, and let personal trainers train their clients. And that's simply it. I feel like I feel like you've been sitting here. I'll be I've been having my meetings or something. I'm, <laughs> brother, I'm 55. I'm 55 years old. I've been doing this thing for for yeah. a while. So, yeah, that's that's basically yeah. it. Yeah, and, and you know, I think that, that that's a good plan B for you too. So, that's, brother, that's, that's, what we're, that's what we're working on right now between you and I. Well, you and I in the world now. Yeah, uh, that's what we're working on right now. Awesome, awesome, man. And you know what? Then that's that's it because you know you know you don't need to be rich. You just have to be able to live the way you want to live, comfortable. Eat whatever Absolutely. you feel like eating, you know. Drive the car that you want to drive, and that's it. We don't want to be spending yeah. millions and millions of dollars on bullshit. No, no, absolutely. You, know I, I, you, you just said it. Comfortable. We we'll be comfortable, yeah. happy. My family. And that's all I need. Yeah, that's it, brother. I appreciate you coming on, talking to me today, man. I, I was, I was oh, looking man. forward to it, man. <laughs> so take yeah, care, my man. Be safe. God bless you. I wish you all the best with your prep this year. And I know right. you're gunning again for the title, you know. <laughs> I think that it's shit's not times, that shit's times. not going to go anywhere <laughs> until you get back that title, you know, to two time, yeah. you know. Yeah, absolutely. I'll still call you the double champ because you're able to compete. You know, you've been in the two twelve and you won the open. Appreciate it. All right, man. brother. Take care, my man. Be safe. God I'll bless. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right.